This is Best Night In, your guide to home entertainment. And tonight we're here with life coach Tracy Steinberg to get some tips on making a great first impression. Uh, so Tracy, uh, many people my age are now finding themselves re-entering the dating scene. Or uh, some have never left the dating uh, scene. <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> so while I'm on the date, what are some tips for stuff that I should do to, you know, dazzle her? Really, one of the best things to do is to pay attention to what their passions are. I believe that if you align yourself with their passions, they become passionate about you. And sort of lie, even if you're well, not passionate about it. <laughs> no, so, no, well, no, if no, you're no. interested in the person, you should be, I mean, really interested in their passions, right? Right, yes. Definitely. Yeah. Well, you're not, you're not pretending to be someone you're not. You're just learning about their passions and their interests. Great tips. Thank you. There's more Best Night In coming up, so stick around. Best Night In, brought to you by Aquafresh. This is Best Night In, your guide to home entertainment. And tonight we're here with life coach Tracy Steinberg to get some tips on making a great first impression. Tracy, let's say I've been dating a woman for an appropriate amount of time and she wants to introduce me to her parents. Big step. Big, yeah, scary step. What are some tips there for wowing the future dad? You can ask your significant other what are good topics to talk about and what are topics to avoid. Like. Politics, Politics, religion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. You want to stay away from anything controversial and just uh, ask them about what their interests are, knowing already what are good topics to discuss. Don't ever say anything bad about a girl's family. <laughs> you meet them, that's like the worst thing ever. Never disrespect the parents because they were there before and they're going to be there after. Great tips, thank you. There's more Best Night In coming up, so stick around. This is Best Night In, your guide to home entertainment. And tonight we're here with life coach Tracy Steinberg to get some tips on making a great first impression. So Tracy, uh, first impression faux pas. How do you recover? If it's something minor, such as you walk into a room and you trip and fall, you don't get hurt, nobody gets hurt, I would right. make some kind of self-deprecating joke and move on. Well, I'm saying, like, what happens if, like, you, like, you know, the horribly inappropriate joke? I would take them aside and apologize, promise never to say anything like that again, and then maybe the next day, if you wanted to, send them flowers or send them chocolate. So here's one for you. Yes, say to a woman, are you pregnant? She's not. How do you Where escape do you that? that? That would definitely be something that would fall into the category of hurting someone's feelings. Right. So I would apologize profusely. A woman will that. never forget, forget. that. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can, you can send her a flower store <laughs> yes, at that can. point. So just never assume anything in a conversation. Right. That way you don't make the faux pas in the future. All right, thank you. There's more Best Night In coming up, so stick around. Best Night In, brought to you by Aquafresh.